Welcome to the Sunrise Photovoltaic Lab. We're in Oregon Best Laboratory on the University of Oregon campus, and our charter is to advance the science and technology of solar cells. My name is Mark Lonergan, and I'm the director of the facility, uh, and I also represent many graduate students and postdocs that actually help uh, maintain the instrumentation and help outside users um, be able to learn how to use the tools that we have in the lab. Our laboratory operates uh, both helping academic and industrial researchers, and over the past few years we've actually worked with over 20 companies, including uh, two of the largest solar cell manufacturers in the United States, and we've also leveraged over $5 million in federal research funding. In the lab, we have a suite of equipment that's used both for the fabrication and characterization of solar cells. It turns out this equipment is also useful more generally for anyone that's interested in the optical or electronic properties of materials. So one suite of tools we have in the Sunrise Lab is for helping us make new types of solar cells. And one of the most important pieces of equipment is this e-beam evaporation system that allows us to deposit, uh, through physical vapor deposition, a range of different types of materials uh, to make contacts to absorber layers in solar cells or simply to put down an electrode on any type of material that someone might be interested in studying the electrical properties of. One of the critical things you have to understand in designing solar cells is you have to understand how the materials in the solar cell either absorb or reflect light. And so we have a range of tools that allow us to interrogate that. One of the most important is this absorption spectrometer that we use to measure uh, in detail at different colors how does a material absorb or reflect light. And it turns out this is really useful beyond just understanding the performance of solar cells. For instance, we had a local paint company that had some issues with their paint formulations, and we were able to give them information to better understand exactly how their material was interacting with light. We have both commercial equipment that allows you to characterize things like the efficiency of a solar cell, or things like its quantum efficiency, how it responds to particular wavelengths of light. But we also have uh, tools that are entirely unique to the Sunrise Photovoltaic Laboratory, including a suite of tools for doing what are called junction capacitance measurements. And these are actually very sophisticated measurements that allow you to understand the types of defect structures that are in solar cells that limit their performance. I guess if I had a final word uh, about the Sunrise Photovoltaic Lab, and that is that we're here to help. I think one of the great things about our lab, the entire Oregon Best Lab Network, and also CAMCOR here on the University of Oregon campus, is that we make available a wide range of tools and expertise that might not be otherwise available to researchers, uh, both academic and industrial around the state of Oregon and beyond. And I think it's been really exciting to see the types of collaborations and connections between academics and industry in particular that can grow out of the interactions that are fostered by this lab. And so I'd really encourage you, if you saw anything in this video that was of interest, that you, you go ahead and contact me or uh, Oregon Best to learn more about the Oregon Best Labs and see if we can build a partnership.